And a line drive to right. It's going to be caught by Miller. Here comes Arteaga. And Ned Yost's final victory is a bottom of the ninth inning run onto the field celebration. They didn't even need Jorge Soler. No, I said, Jorge, you've been carrying us all year long. By golly, we're going to take care of it for Ned, and that's exactly what they did. Fantastic job, fellas. Well, Ned Yost, what an appropriate, perfect way to end your last game. Well, there's not a whole lot of surprise going on here. Go ahead. Salvi just said that was his first Gatorade bucket of the year, and he saved it for the last. You know, I told Salvi, after every game we won, the first thing I would do is I would hug him and hug him only. And I told him I'm not hugging anybody until I can hug you again. So for him to give me the Salvi splash was a tremendous honor. But thank you. I just want to. I told the boys when we didn't score in the eighth inning, I said, look, Ian's going to come out there and he's going to get three outs. But you guys are messing with my retirement. Somebody better score and score quick. So they did. They did. It only took a few batters. And, and you know, this is it. But you were talking this morning about how you, you still want to win these games. So how perfect to see a Hunter Dozier the way he's hustling in the third, to see the guys grind out that win and send you off this way. Well, it's great. Uh, it's the perfect way to go out. You know, um, I, I never could have dreamed the impact that a world championship could have on a city and our fans. And thank you. But you you know, you guys can see how this team's coming. You guys can see the talent uh, develop the years. I mean, let's hear it for Jorge Soler, the American League home run champion. <laughs> Tremendous. You know, they ask, they ask me all the time, does anybody ever fool you as a player? Well, Whit Merrifield fooled me. I mean, Whit Merrifield led all of baseball in hits two years in a row. Let's hear it for Whit. You know, Ian Kennedy with 30 saves. I mean, that's a tremendous year. What Dozier's done, what all these guys, what all these kids have done. I think they're well on their way, and I know that they're in great shape with fans like you backing them, supporting them, and being there with them and for them. Ned, I've I've done this game after game, year after year. It's not a surprise that the fans are staying. They always want to see the Salvi splash. They always want to congratulate the winner. But everyone here is not moving because they want to see and say goodbye to you. What has this support meant all week and throughout your career for you? Well, it's meant everything. You know, I, was, I, I made the decision after the All-Star break. And I really thought about, you know, just waiting till today and then announcing tomorrow that I was going to retire. But that didn't feel right. I wanted this last homestand to be able to say thank you to the city of Kansas City. Thank you to our fans. I love you guys. Ned Yost, everybody, congratulations. And that will do it. The end of an incredible career. Ned Yost.